What's up, guys, and welcome back to That Chick Angel TV. It's me, Angel, and this is my 26-week pregnancy update. I cannot even believe it. Like, I literally potentially only have like 14 weeks left. Maybe, maybe less, maybe a little bit more, <clears throat> depending on how long this baby wants to cook. But I just can't, it's flying by. I don't know if it's flying by for you all or not, but it is flying by for me. Like, we're already almost in May. Like, get out of here. So I just want to update you all on what's been going on with me this week, things that have been on my mind, as well as I did a little haul with ASOS. I think somebody in one of the comments had actually recommended ASOS and I didn't check it out at that time, but then I finally did and saw they had so many maternity options. I was like, okay, let me give it a whirl. I spent more money than what I should have, but that's all right. But I will do a try on haul so you'll be able to see how the clothes fit that I bought and what all I bought. I didn't buy a whole, whole lot, but enough to do an actual try on haul. At 26 weeks pregnant, I'm gonna go to my app, <clears throat> my Ovia app, I really don't know why I haven't done a brand deal with them. I really need to get on top of this since I talk about them so much for free, but it's that my app of choice for my pregnancy. So I am 26 weeks today. My baby is the size of a <laughs> bowling pin. <laughs> I, I like that they don't just do the fruit because that's like so played out. I like that they use random objects because that helps me mentally. The baby is opening his eyes or her eyes, whichever way we're gonna see this. The immune system is like starting to piggyback off of my immune system. The baby has started regulating uh, its own temperature. It says that I could be experiencing contractions. I'm not, thank God. <clears throat> and it says vaginal discharge and leaky breast could also occur. No, I think I'm, I know my boobs ain't leaking and it's hard for me to like gauge what's happening down below as far as in discharge is concerned. It says my baby is packing on fat. It's definitely kicking more. The baby is definitely kicking more. Oh my goodness. So it says I should be gaining weight to help the baby's sweet pea is what I call the baby, to help the baby's vision. The baby weighs about two pounds right about now and is about 14 inches tall. Like that's the average baby. It has some stuff about what I'm doing. It says cut down caffeine, which is not a problem. I don't be, now granted, I do love my refresher from, uh, what you call it, uh, Starbucks, but that has very minimal caffeine and I don't drink it that often. Anyways, so the things that I can definitely tell you I've been experiencing this week, TMI, constipation. Like, constipation has been on a whole nother level. I'm like, oh my God. So I know I probably need to increase my water intake and my fiber intake to kind of like counteract that, but I also have been eating like a pig. <laughs> If you all follow me on Instagram, I just, uh, and um, after I had filmed my update last week, I went to work on Atypical as well as I did a shot of commercial. And craft services, they just be hooking a chick up. Like when they have the gourmet trucks and the gourmet like chefs, I just want to eat everything. It's so good. I go back to work tomorrow actually. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to control myself. Let me be honest. I'm going to try. Maybe I'm not, I, I might be lying, I don't know. But that's the biggest thing, the baby has been moving. The baby is very like persnickety. The baby don't like moving for people, but me. As Soon as I'm like, oh, put your hand on my tummy, the baby's like, and no, and seen. The baby finally moved for Big Marcus last night and he felt he felt it. He was like, wait a minute, is that my heartbeat or is that the baby move? <laughs> I was like, it's the baby. But the baby won't move for um, its brothers, it wouldn't move for Brescia. It's just like, I'm I'm chill. I'm cool like it. My skin is definitely getting the greasiness. Like people call it glow, I call it grease. I don't know what else to call it. It's just like, what? why am I so oily? I can't remember anything. That's that's something that, I mean, I re remember my lines, praise the Lord, that, that part is good. But conversation, I'm still hazy as all get out. Let me tell you something that's recently been pissing me off. And this is very much so. We kind of talked about it in my last update, but I'll talk about it this update. You know, the entertainment industry is an industry unlike any other industry. There are some commonalities with the regular, like, working class America, or as uh, people call it, what do you call it when you uh, work in a corporate America? But there's a lot of it that's different. And one part that I feel like is very particular to um, the entertainment industry is that being pregnant is like being a leopard. 
Like, <laughs> it's like having leprosy because they automatically see you as a liability. They, I feel like in the entertainment industry, they see pregnancy as a disease. Not, it, I am not diseased, okay? <laughs> this is actually shows that I'm actually quite healthy. The fact that I'm carrying a healthy baby. So I have a hard time dealing with the fact and, and listen, everybody has a right to choose who and what they want to work with. But to be told, no, I can't even audition for something just based off the fact that I have a child in my stomach blows my mind. And literally, I was just told today, yeah, no, it's a liability. They can't even get insurance. Uh, they, well, not they can't. They possibly would not be able to insure you because you're so late term. First of all, ain't none of these people talking to me about this have ever had children. Let's start there. Or oh, there was one, there's one, one of my people who talked to me has had one child. None of them are doctors to tell me whether or not my health is less than someone else's. And then two, like it, that would be like, you would never tell someone whose cancer that was in remission. If there was an actor who had went through cancer treatment and um, their cancer was in remission, that they were too much of a risk to hire because they don't know if you're going to catch cancer, you know, get cancer again, for lack of a better term. So to tell a woman who has had two healthy pregnancies and currently in a healthy pregnancy that I'm too much of a liability blows my mind. It's such an antiquated thought. Like I am healthier than most people walking this green earth. You know what I'm saying? And I get that. Yes, because I have a child in my body, if I were to do something too strenuous, I could easily hurt myself or the baby. But if we're not doing stuff that's strenuous, why are you worried about me? This is the reason why I love working on Atypical because I feel like they have not made me feel as though I am less than just because I'm pregnant. And while I am so proud of the Me Too movement, they need a Mommy Too movement in Hollywood because it's it's quite ridiculous. I feel like it's, it is discrimination, to be honest. Like, I am just as funny, not pregnant, as I am pregnant. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's, there's no difference between the two. But people get away with it. They get away with it and... And it makes me mad when other people buy into it. When people are like, yeah, it's not right, but well, if it's not right, then let's fight this. Like, why are we, why are we just sitting on our hands? Like, well, if that's what they want to do. It pisses me off. And if I ever get into a place of power where this is concerned, I am definitely going to be doing my due diligence, my due diligence to try to make changes happen because it just, I feel like that's why so many women in this industry, industry feel like they have to postpone having children. Not to say everybody wants to have children, not to say everybody wants to have children at an early age, but I feel like we are pushed to have children later because we don't want our career to be postponed because of other people's biases. So I'm going to get off my high horse about that because truly it has pissed me the hell off. So let's do the haul from ASOS. Again, I spent more money than what I wanted to, but ASOS is pretty reasonable. I got my Easter dress and that's the first thing that's here. I have to sing in the choir as well as be a part of praise and worship for Easter and you know, like churches love to do. Let's wear pastel colors. So I got this pretty pastel mint color dress. It's called a safety pin dress because it, um, has the safety pin detail. You hear my kids out there. Somebody's about to come in here crying. I can't even. I can't have a good time. It's a three quarter length sleeve. I don't even think it's three quarter length. It's like right below the elbow. And it has a kind of a V-neck. I'm sure it'll close enough, we'll see. You see how I'm just ignoring my child's tears right now. I don't, I don't even care right now. I don't even care right now. Jesus, help me. Oh, I am so excited about this outfit. It is overalls. I just think I look adorable in overalls as a pregnant woman. Could be wrong. <laughs> but I got, this was more expensive. That green dress was only $20. But this was like $67. These overalls were. Um, they're long. They're full length. Oh, and they're cuffed at the bottom. And they have a little bit of... um elasticity at the waist. Oh, they're so cute. 
and all these things I got like um, size 12. Anything that goes around my butt and legs, I, I went up to the size 12 because I'm too big. My child is out there just for hollering. Who is this? I think these, I got a bunch of belly bands because they were cheap. Is this a belly band? What is it? Oh no. What is this? Did I order this? It's just a plain white shirt. I don't recall ordering this. Did I? It's a plain white shirt. I don't know if I ordered this or not, but it's cute. Did I order that, you guys? I ordered some trousers. They're kind of for the beach. They're split up the thigh, so the whole thigh meat will be out. I need to get my squats on. So you see this split, this is a split. So all the thigh meatage will be out when I wear this. Ooh. Oh, I bought some stockings, some tights. I'm like, here's the thing. Sometimes I need something to smooth me out that goes all the way down to the ankle. And a lot of these um, maternity things, they stop me at that. But then I get that thigh line. So when I saw they had stockings close to my color, I said, well, come on. Yeah, and they were cheap. They were like $3. Maybe they were 6 I don't know, but they were cheap. And then I got the three different belly bands because I am choosing not to buy a whole lot of maternity um, clothes so that I, so the belly bands help so that you can continue to wear a, wear a lot of your regular clothes and you can just like adjust them with the belly bands. Did I, what size did I get? Why do these look so big? Large. So I can put these on with um, my jeans. This looks huge. This looks like I ain't gonna be able to wear this for a while. We're gonna see. All right, so those are the items I got from ASOS. I'll try to leave the links to the below to these items. And if I buy anything else, I will let you guys know. Oh, that's what it was. They, were, they had a lot of beautiful dresses on there and the dresses that I loved, they did not have my size. It was so very upsetting. <laughs> But anyways, tell me what you all thought of the clothing. Anyways, I'm gonna try to make sure I get up the names we like, but I'm not gonna use tag, as well as I still haven't done the video that I wanna do with the twins to let them talk about their excitement about the baby. All right, if you haven't liked, subscribed, or shared, please do so, and I will talk to you all next week. And hopefully, fingers crossed, I'm gonna have a vlog edited for you all this week. All right, you guys be blessed, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. I'm talented and funny with a whole lot of class. Watch me juggle my jam-packed life with the tally.